from this one thinking they should have got something from it. I think it's a lot Well, you always think that you should have got more out of the game when you've worked as hard as that. And but the, the nature of this game is that, yeah, there's, there's winners and losers, and that. I think that's where we've been from for the last probably six or seven weeks. We've been in some real tough competitions, but it's really hard to push it into one side and say, let's get a game or in a business where it's win and lose, where actually we're so much better than we were on everything that we're doing. And well, we played here a number of times and it's gone okay for 20 minutes, it's gone okay for patches, but got beat by five points and every single time. Today I thought we were possibly close to being the best team. And we scored, scored the best tries, we made the line breaks, they scored a couple of scrappy tries on the back of some, some pace. I thought, well, they, they definitely didn't score the first try of the game, I know that much. The timing was bad for the, the, the one just before half time, wasn't it? it was the, I think the timing was bad at the first one. Yeah. The timing and the referee and the bottom linesman not yeah. seeing something that was as blatant as a block that stood five metres in front of the kick out and it's supposed to try. The game's 14 10, or 14 all with 10 minutes to go when it should have been 10 14. And the game's a, the game's a completely different game on the back of that really poor error at the start. You know that there's mistakes in the game, but these are real clear cut things that you've got to be, you've got to see, and you've got to know that they're there. And I know it's, it's at the end of it says 20 points to 10, but there's a lot closer than that right until the death. Danny Craven played well out of hockey with the pitch from Dunny Half. He was outstanding. Again, I, I, there's nobody in this fit on in this team that is not. You can see, there's a picture on the TV there. It's just offside, and he kicks the ball again. He's offside. It's just. <laughs> he was that far offside, it was fine. But, um, the, the craving was great. There's nobody he couldn't say that was, didn't have such an outstanding game today. He thought, Tom Gilmore's come from playing one of his places again for us. It looks like he's never been away, and that's the testament to how well he's played. He scores the first one, sets up the second one. I mean, defends, defends his heart out, and just, it's, a, it's a great, great performance from us, and he's tainted because say it meant so much to us to get into that age. we were working so hard and I felt at certain stages I felt we deserved it and we came here tonight and played a couple up but really we know that we had to win put a massive effort in and the belief that we've got to go along with from the things that we've done today ultimately will, will make us stronger and, and sometimes you've got to take some defeats to get better and then I think we've taken some this year that can't break us. Ultimately, not like they've hurt us, but they, can, they won't break us. We're too strong for that, and it's going to make us better moving forward. <laughs> can't take away from how, how strong this team has, has got over the last month or so. Like I said, to defend our line here the way we did it, the little things that we don't get right all the time, but we're getting right more often now. No, I'm, and I'm, I'm most I know that the way to make this team better is to keep working with the fellas that we can make better and developing them and bringing a little bit of that more quality. And that, that's the challenge that we have. As it, and it's not all, we don't need to make mass changes, but I do need to make, make signings on the side of Chris Bridge, quality that he can bring in there. And there are probably a couple more players to bring in and um, keep adding to this team to take that next step. What was the help with Gil Dudson? Did he look quite serious? It's a bit of a stinger, again. Um, same again with him, no Carol Heyman. Like I said, we lose, we lose Heyman, which is a matter because the way he started, it was a massive blow. We threw a rotation substitutes out a little bit. Um, and it was it was a tough one for us to take losing Heyman. So, really, like I said, I'm hoping that we can get a good assessment back from it. And he can do it because he's been fantastic these last four or five weeks. He's been back involved. And just really hopeful that there's nothing too, too wrong with him. Gil the same, I think it's just a mistake, just a whack on his shoulder. But that was a ferocity of the game. I can say I know Sean's probably coming in and said that we were okay. I we fought really hard and that. It's no good sitting there feeling sorry for ourselves. We know, I know we put a good performance in today. We contributed to a very exciting game. And for myself as well, I feel like I played. <laughs> Absolutely not good.
But it seems there's people hiding in the reeds Waiting to take away the laughter From the happily ever after Could even make a wish and say you miss the things you had But the people are too greedy and you'd never get it back Say you really love this town and really mean it too But this town is something different and it's gonna swallow you This town Whoa, this town And it's gonna be me too, oh You want it, it's gonna waste no time. This sound. Oh,